Welcome to another session in the educational series about Vaultize. Vaultize, the enterprise platform for enabling secure file sharing, anywhere access, and mobile collaboration with end-to-end -end data security and flexible deployment options. Hello, my name is Gary Cook, and I am the Chief Solutions Architect for Vaultize in North America. In this session, we're going to show you how to set up and apply an access control policy in our Vaultize server. So first of all, we're going to log here as our admin. And go over to our policy screen. We're going to come down to access control. You see we already have a default access control policy. Once again, we want to create one specific for our AAAA user group. So we're going to come out here and we're going to call it our AAAA access control policy. And before in our sharing policy, we talked about the instance of a yard and where we were going to allow people to be able to use their devices to be able to share things. So we had the definition and the creation kind of our, our yard. Well, here we're going to do kind of the opposite. We're going to take our yard and say those places that you can't go to. So you could select specific countries to exclude or specific IP addresses. Um, in this case, I'm not going to select any, but what we'll do is we'll let it, we could pick things, you know, if there are countries that your country didn't allow people to go to for various reasons, or if there were some potential um, wars going on and you didn't want people taking devices to those countries where there might be some kind of conflicts, where there's concerns about their safety and or the device or the data that's sitting on there. You can certainly select countries to exclude. You would add them. They would fit in this area here. You can also do the same thing, much like what we did with the IP sharing or with the sharing policy, is to have IP fencing. So in this case, we're going to put an asterisk and say that people can go anywhere. So we can have defining time-based access. We could say if you want to limit the hour someone could access to say from Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, because of business reasons that you had. In this selection, I'll pick 24 by 7. And we'll come through here, and the last piece is user access settings. So it says access permission within the fence boundary, whether you have the application sitting on your device or whether you don't. Same thing here, access permission outside the fence boundary. So with the application we're talking about that's either sitting on your desktop laptop or it's sitting on your mobile device, those iOS or Android devices where we have the Vaultize product and the container. So access permission within the fence boundary. If you have the app, we're certainly going to let you be able to do that. Without the app, meaning you're going to come in through potentially a web browser, we're going to still let you do it. Access permission outside the fence boundary. So if you don't have the application, we're not going to let you have web access, the ability to upload or download. And the same thing if you don't have the app. So if you're trying to come in from a web browser, we're not going to let you get in to have access that way either. So we'll go ahead and create the policy. We'll now come out to our users so that we can apply it. So we can see here's our AAAA access control policy. So far it's been applied to zero groups and users. IP fencing, we've selected it, but we've allowed people to come from anywhere along the IP segments. But we have set up our access time as 24 by 7. So we'll come to users, click on users, we'll go to apply policies. We're going to pick our group. So this is our AAAA user group. So we'll get all five of our employees in our group. And we're going to come down to the access control policies, and we're going to select our AAAA access control policy. Once again, you can see all the things that we selected to do or not do, depending. There's all the restrictions for whether they have the app outside the fence, inside the fence. We're going to go ahead and add that, and we're going to apply it. So now we have the access control policy applied to all five of our users pertaining to that group. So I'd like to thank you for watching today for when we created the access control policy on the Vaultize server to potentially limit people's ability to share data or retrieve data depending upon where their location may be, either physically, on a network segment, or based on time. We hope that you have found this session in the Vaultize education series to be informative and educational. Please visit our website at vaultize.com for more videos in the series educating you on the Vaultize platform. If you have any questions or comments about Vaultize, please send an email to sales at Thank you.